graphing linear inequalities. Supposing we are asked to solve the following linear inequality and graph its solutions. We begin by solving the linear inequality. So to do this, we subtract 5 from both sides. So 5 minus 3x minus 5 is less than or equal to 3 minus 5. This leaves us with minus 3x is less than or equal to minus 2. Now to get rid of the minus, we divide both sides by minus 1. So we have minus 3x divided by minus 1. And don't forget what we do when we divide by minus 1. We must change the direction of our inequality. So instead of less than or equal to, it becomes greater than or equal to. And then minus 2 divided by minus 1. So minus 1 into minus 1 goes once. Minus 1 into minus 3 goes three times. Minus 1 into minus 1 goes once. Minus 1 into minus 2 goes twice. So we're left with 3x is greater than or equal to 2. Now we divide both sides by 3 to get the x by itself. So 3x divided by 3 and 2 divided by 3. So 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 3 goes once. So we're left with x is greater than or equal to 2 thirds. So now we graph our solution. So we start at 2 thirds, so 2 thirds is about here. We use a filled in circle to show us that 2 thirds is in the solution. So we fill in a circle here on 2 thirds. Now if 2 thirds wasn't included in our solution, so if it was just x is greater than 2 thirds, we would use an open circle. But because it's a greater than or equal to sign, we use a closed circle. Now, next, we use a red arrow to show that all the numbers greater than two-thirds are included. And we use an arrow to show that this goes as far as plus infinity. So now we've graphed our solution. So what we have to remember is, use a filled-in circle to show us that a number is included in the solution, and use an open circle if you want to show that a number is not included in the solution. Now let's try another example. So again, we start off by solving our inequality. So this time we're going to have to add 1 to both sides. So 3x minus 1 plus 1 is greater than 5 plus 1. So we get 3x is greater than 6. Then we divide both sides by 3 to get x by itself. So 3x divided by 3 and 6 divided by 3. 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 3x goes x times, 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 6 goes twice. So this leaves us with x is greater than 2. So now again, we graph our solution. So our solution was x is greater than 2. So this time we're going to start at 2. Now this time, because our solution is x greater than 2, and the 2 is not included, we're going to use an open circle around our 2. Then we use a red arrow to show that all the values on the number line greater than 2 are solutions. And now we've graphed our inequality.